the mountain splitter, Henry Lawson. The works in the glen far off grows, the camps and vares are tall, they've close to the echo of the sound of his blouse, and the wedges leap in from the mole. It comes of a hardy old immigrant race, the fields and the rain of a drove. His news are together from the wire, and his face has been tanned by the sun of the south. The doom to be shorn of its glory at last, so stately old tree he attacks. Its moments of life he is numbering fast, with the keen steady strokes of his axe. Loud cracks at the bath of strong wood is burst, and the splitter steps backward and turns, his eyes to the boards who move slowly at first, have rushed to the grave in the ferns. He strips of a bark with slight effort of strength, and stretches it out on the weeds, marks the trunk with the measure of the length of the rails of the paling cenites. The teeth of his crosscuts are truly as set, but it swings from his elbow at ease. And the song of so I am hearing it yet is the music of wind in the trees. Song blows on the witch and the ribbit the tear, and the long opens up to the bud, and spreading around through the pure mountain air as the scan the wood newly cut. A love of comfort and crown is a sea, and the day's work is behind, a fire and the yarn and the billy of tea, the heart of splendor you'll find. As custom saw the home of the range, how well the future here looks. It checks an instant storekeeper's change, his name is the best on the books.